We have two AI companies, and what happens to them will shake the foundations of the AI industry. OpenAI's grand vision has two critical factors. It must lower compute costs and must be the undisputed leader in artificial general intelligence. It must create a moat. That's what they're betting on. That's where the billions come. But do moats even exist in the age of AI? Remember how Google search dominance seemed unassailable? Yet here we are. Is that an old model? This is a big Las Vegas bet going on. Fathom is a much clearer picture, isn't it? It's an acquisition target, if nothing else, has its own tech and a growing loyal customer base. And what we're looking at with OpenAI, it will have to have the same thing. It does have proprietary tech. Does it have a loyal growing customer base? It's certainly not an acquisition target. To succeed, it has to own the AGI space. That's what OpenAI's whole gamble is built on, predicting that future. And let's face it, that's the trillion dollar dream because that's what these companies are chasing. But is it even real? Fathom's approach of solving real problems, owning their tech, and fostering customer love is not just a safe bet. That's sort of what OpenAI at a much bigger level has to do. See, OpenAI is swinging for the fences, going for a home run. And Fathom is just doing the business model. And that's what's missing. And that's why this AI bubble doesn't really encourage business models. See, the AI race isn't just about who can build the biggest, baddest AI. It's about who can build a sustainable business in a landscape that's so shifting and there's so much money. And it's not just a U.S. Silicon Valley game. And that steady growth, that tortoise and that customer satisfaction, when this bubble bursts, that's going to be looking sexy again, not just for somebody as small as Fathom, but one of these big players to actually have the discipline, the approach, and move beyond the hype. And I want you to ask yourself, in five years, what company would you bet on still being here, still growing and making a difference? And is there really one AGI to rule us all? Because I can tell you one thing, Fathom has a much better chance of owning video, meetings, and analysis than this dream of GPT, which still isn't defined and is sort of nice, but where's the business model? Let that shape your perspective, especially you entrepreneurs out there.